the Red Deer Cave people are a prehistoric archaic human population from China. Fossils dated to between about 17,830 to 11,500 years ago, were found in Red Deer Cave in southwestern China. Recent analysis of the DNA from the ancient population suggests they are related to Native Americans. Evidence shows large deer were cooked in the Red Deer Cave, giving the people their name. Their unusual bones suggested Red Deer Cave people were a mysterious new species of human. A team of archaeologists unearthed the remains of at least three individuals in Red Deer Cave in 1989. The fossils exhibit a mix of archaic and modern features, and when discovered were tentatively thought to represent a late survival of an archaic human species, or of a hybrid population of Denisovan hominin and modern human descent. Alternatively, they could have been just an unfortunate overinterpretation and misinterpretation of robust early modern humans, probably with affinities to modern Melanesians. Today's video is sponsored by MyHeritage, one of the world's leading ancestry and genealogy companies. With MyHeritage you can discover new relatives you never knew you had. They are trusted by over 90 million users, and not only make building your family tree a simple and enjoyable activity, they also give you access to powerful tools that can help you research your family history and grow your tree. Furthermore, their animated photos feature applies realistic gestures to a face in your still photo, creating a short video that you can share with your friends and family. The software guides the movements in the animation so you can see your ancestors smile, blink and turn their heads. With deep stories, you can even hear your ancestor speak, which really brings your photos to life. Founder populations are people whose ancestors lived in the same region of the world for generations, so that their DNA is highly characteristic of the region. By testing the DNA of the participants in the project, MyHeritage established profiles for each region that reflect its unique DNA sequences. The result became a very rich and consistent reference of 42 founder populations, considered to be the best of its kind in the world. MyHeritage DNA uses this reference when analyzing your DNA, to identify your ethnicity breakdown among these 42 ethnicities. MyHeritage.com is home to more than 18 billion easily searchable historical records as well as advanced AI technologies for repairing, enhancing, colorizing, and animating historical photos. Sign up for a 14-day free trial using the link in the description, and enjoy all the amazing features MyHeritage has to offer, and if you continue your subscription, you'll get a 50% discount. MyHeritage also gives you access to thousands of historical newspapers, census, marriage, and death records, immigration documents, and millions of other historical records which are easily searchable, even for beginners. One theory suggested that the Red Deer Cave people were early modern humans that settled into the region more than 100,000 years ago and became isolated. The high mountains and deep valleys of the region are ideal in isolating species geographically, so it is possible for a species to migrate to the area and become genetically isolated over time. The environment and climate of southwest China are unique, owing to the tectonic uplift of the Tibetan Plateau. The Yunnan province still today has some of the greatest biodiversity in all of China. Now, for the first time, researchers successfully sequenced the genome of the ancient human fossils from the late Pleistocene. The data, published in the journal Current Biology, suggests that the mysterious hominin belonged to an extinct maternal branch of modern humans, that might have contributed to the origin of Native Americans. The ancient DNA technique is a really powerful tool, it tells us quite definitively that the Red Deer Cave people were modern humans, instead of an archaic species, such as Neanderthals or Denisovans, despite their unusual morphological features, say the researchers. The researchers compared the genome of these fossils to that of people from around the world. Surprisingly, the results of the study indicate that the individual from Red Deer Cave is an anatomically modern human who exhibits genetic continuity to present-day populations, and is deeply linked to the East Asian ancestry that contributed to Native Americans. Combined with previous research data, this finding led the team to propose that some of the Southern East Asia people had traveled north along the coastline of present-day eastern China through Japan and reached Siberia tens of thousands of years ago. They then crossed the Bering Strait between the continents of Asia and North America and became the first people to arrive in the New World. 
The journey to making this discovery started over three decades ago, when a group of archaeologists in China discovered a large set of bones in the Red Deer Cave, in southern China's Yunnan province. Carbon dating showed that the fossils were from the late Pleistocene about 14,000 years ago, a period of time when modern humans had already migrated to many parts of the world. From the cave, researchers recovered a hominin skullcap, with characteristics of both modern humans and archaic humans. The shape of the skull resembled that of Neanderthals, but its brain appeared to be smaller than that of modern humans. As a result, some anthropologists had thought the skull probably belonged to an unknown archaic human species that lived until fairly recently, or to a hybrid population of archaic and modern humans. Then in 2018, archaeologists successfully extracted ancient DNA from the skull. Genomic sequencing shows that the hominin belonged to an extinct maternal lineage of a group of modern humans, whose surviving descendants are now found in East Asia, the Indochina Peninsula, an island Southeast Asia. The finding also shows that during the late Pleistocene, hominins living in Southern East Asia had rich genetic and morphologic diversity, the degree of which is greater than that in Northern East Asia during the same period. It suggests that early humans who first arrived in Eastern Asia had initially settled in the south before some of them moved to the north. The researchers say it's an important piece of evidence for understanding early human migration. Next, archaeologists plan to sequence more ancient human DNA by using fossils from Southern East Asia, especially ones that predate the Red Deer Cave people. This data will not only help paint a more complete picture of how our ancestors migrate, but also reveal important information about how humans change their physical appearance by adapting to local environments over time. For example, the variations in skin color in response to changes in sunlight exposure. Today, Yunnan province has the greatest biodiversity of plants and animals in the whole of China. It is one of 20 floristic endemic centers, as a result of its complex landscape of high mountains, deep valleys, rift lakes and large rivers. The region is also biogeographically on the northern edge of tropical Southeast Asia, and many species found there today are very ancient indeed. The area is a biological refugium owing to its variable topography and tropical location. The Red Deer Cave fossils were previously thought to be a representer relic, tropically adapted, archaic population that survived relatively late in this biogeographically complex, highly diverse and largely isolated region. Previous work showed that the features of their bones and teeth possess a remarkable number of similarities to archaic humans. Their anatomy was like nothing seen before in modern humans, they were truly unique and a real mystery before their DNA was sequenced. Scientific measurements show that the thigh bone strongly resembles very ancient species like early Homo erectus or Homo habilis, which lived around 1.5 million years ago or more in Africa. Like these pre-modern humans, a femur from the Red Deer Cave is very small. The shaft is narrow, with the outer layer of the shaft very thin, the walls of the shaft are reinforced in areas of high strain, the femur neck is long, and the place of muscle attachment for the primary flexor muscle of the hip is very large and faces strongly backwards. Surprisingly, the body mass of the Red Deer Cave people is thought to be only about 110 pounds, making them very small by pre-modern and Ice Age human hunter-gatherer standards. Most of what we know about human evolution is based on the fossil records of Europe and some parts of Africa, like the East African Rift Valley, and caves in South Africa. However, we're quickly learning that Europe and Africa may not provide the best model to use to interpret the fossil record of East Asia. The fact is that we've really only scratched the surface in East Asia. We still have an enormous amount to learn about which human species were living there when the first modern humans arrived, and about how they interacted with the Paleolithic ancestors of today's East Asians. Despite the progress we're making about these and other ancient humans in southwest China, we're still left with many riddles about the Red Deer Cave people. Just who exactly were these mysterious Stone Age people? And where did they come from?